having trouble with this. So we need to make sure we're all on the same page. All right, I just kind of threw up an abstract description that you guys can follow. So I'm going to use this description or these steps for you guys to kind of pro um, to go through. But it's not a very description, uh, descriptive process. But the first thing, guys, if you're given two points, and I say find the equation on the line, the first thing we need to remember is the equation on the line is y equals mx plus b, right? And I've gone through this over and over where we get so sick of me saying m is your slope and b is your y-intercept. Now, looking at what you're given, you're given two points. Do you know what the slope is just by looking at those two points? And the answer, you know, should be no, I'm probably going to have to do some kind of operations, right? So if you can't do it in your head, you could graph the two points and find the slope by using a slope triangle, or you could use the slope formula. So the slope formula, which should be in your notes, is m equals y2 minus y1 all over x2 minus x1. Okay? And then you might say, well, crap, all right, I remember that, but what was the x2 and the x1? Well, remember, when given two points, we can find what the value, we can label them x and y. Right? Remember, every coordinate point on a graph has an x and y uh, coordinate. However, the problem with this is we don't know, when I say x, we don't know which x we're talking about. Justin, can you just kind of write on your own paper, please? So we don't know which one we're, we're talking about. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to label this x1 and x2, y1 and y2. That just helps me distinguish my x and y coordinates. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug them into my equation to find my slope. So y2 is 5, y1 minus y1 all over x2, which is a negative 3, um, minus, um, minus a negative 3 minus negative 7. Okay? Remember, it's your change in y over your change in your x's. So therefore, 5 minus a negative 3, that's a double negative, becomes positive, which is 8. Negative 3 minus a negative 7, again, we have a double negative. Negative 3 plus 7 is going to be a positive 4. Therefore, my slope is 2. Negative 3 minus a negative 7. When you have a, a number minus a negative number, it can, it's a double negative, so it turns to a positive. <laughs> or it turns to add. So it's a negative 3 add a 7, which gives you a 4. So therefore, yep, yeah, what? How do you get 2? 8 over 8, 4 goes into 8 two times. That's where I got that. So now, what I wrote up there is I find the slope, which I did. And then I need to plug it into y equals mx plus b. So I say y equals, instead of m, I can say 2x plus b. Because I'm saying I want 2 to represent my new slope. All right? So now I know what the slope is, but I don't know what the y-intercept is. And so it says choose a point. Choose. Choose a point. Choose. It doesn't tell you to pick which point to pick. It just says choose. So therefore, you can pick any point you want to. So you can either pick this point or this point. And it just kind of depends on your preference. I usually like to pick the ones that have the least number of negatives because a lot of times negatives, you'll make little mistakes with them. So I'm going to choose this point. It doesn't matter it's x1 or x2, y2. It has nothing to do with it. So we still know this is your x value and that's your y value. So I'll say 5 is my y equals 2 times x, which is negative 3, plus b. Then it says, choose your point and plug into your y equals mx plus b, which I did. Then, solve for b. Well, I need to solve for b. So first thing I need to do is 2 times negative 3, which is negative 6 plus b. Then, it says solve for 6. I have a negative 6 plus b. So to undo that, I need to add a 6 to both sides. So I have 11 equals b. Then plug in your new slope, which was m, or which was 2, and your new y-intercept, which I found out was 11, into the equation y equals mx plus b. So I plug in my new slope and my new y-intercept, and I have my new equation of my line with my two points. That's a lot. It is a lot. There you go. That's it.
Pause recording.